Hi, this is Dr. Shahriar Hussain. In the last video lecture, we discussed if-else, if, else statements. On our website, we provided an exercise. Today, we are going to solve that exercise. If you have already solved the exercise that we provided uh, with the last video lecture, I suggest please still keep watching this video till the end because it contains some analysis using tracing. Tracing is a technique that helps us analyze our code without running it enormous amount of time um, with different inputs. By the way, one thing before we start working on the exercise, please subscribe to our website computingforall.com and to this YouTube channel to receive notifications about our articles and video lectures. Uh, I'll not keep you um, waiting anymore. Let us um, work on the exercise. You can see the description of the exercise on the screen now. The exercise states the following. Write a program that asks the user for a GPA on a scale of 0 to 4.0. If the user enters a number greater than 4.0 or less than 0, 0.0, the program must output invalid GPA. If the user enters a valid number, the program should display the corresponding letter grade based on the table provided below. Then the table provides a bunch of ranges for different grades. We will analyze the problem a bit right now. At first, I am outlining the range of GPA. Valid GPA may vary between 0 to 4.0. I am drawing the ranges that are mentioned in the description of the exercise. As described in the problem, any GPA greater than 4.0 should be invalid. Also, any GPA smaller than 0 is invalid. Now recall from the table that the letter grade A plus is assigned to GPA 4.0 only. A GPA in the range from 3.75 to anything less than 4.0 should have a letter grade A. From 3.5 to anything less than 3.75 should be designated as A-. GPA B plus is in the range starting from 3.25 and should be less than 3.5. B starts from 3.0. It is less than 3.25. The range of B- minus starts from 2.75. B- minus is less than 3.0. The next letter grade is C. It starts from 2.0 and is less than 2.75. All valid grades less than 2.0 result in an F. The idea of the solution is that we will use if-else if-else statements to display the letter grade corresponding to a given GPA. Let us write the code. I have already written the class name and the header for the main method. The file name is exercise.java. I will write the code to collect the GPA from the user. I will keep the GPA in a variable named GPA which is of double data type. Based on what is inside the variable GPA, I want to display the corresponding letter grade. In our figure, we started to draw the ranges from the right side, that is, from larger GPA to smaller GPA. I'll write the code in the same order, that is, I'll first write an if statement to cover the GPA greater than 4.0. Notice that all GPAs greater than 4.0 should be marked as invalid GPA. Because the valid GPA range starts at 0.0 and ends at 4.0. All I have to write is, if the GPA is greater than 4.0, then print invalid GPA. Now the next item in the right side of the figure is 4.0. At 4.0, the letter grade A plus should be printed. The idea is I will use an else if statement to cover 4.0. I am writing else if GPA is equal to 4.0, then print 
A+. Plus. Notice that the equality comparison has to be two equals symbols. We discussed in an earlier video that the equality comparison is always with two equals symbol, not one. A single equals symbol is used for the assignment operation. Anyway, if we run the program right now, then for any GPA greater than 4.0, the program will print invalid GPA. For GPA equal to 4.0, the program will print A+. For any other GPA, the program will print nothing. We are not going to run the program right now. Rather, we will complete the code and then run the program. The next grade letter is A. GPA A may start at 3.75 and must be less than 4.0. Therefore, I add another else if statement in which I write the condition GPA is greater than or equal to 3.75. When the condition is satisfied, we print the letter grade A. At this point, if we run the program with a GPA, say, of 3.8, the first condition is not satisfied. The second condition, GPA equals 4.0, is not satisfied either. The third condition, GPA is greater than 3.75, is satisfied. Therefore, the program will print the letter grade A. If the first condition is satisfied, which is an invalid situation in this program, the program prints invalid GPA and does not check any other condition in the if-else-if if sequence. A condition in the if-else-if-else if else sequence is checked only if all the preceding if or else-if conditions resulted in false. Again, once an if or else-if condition is satisfied, no other condition in the sequence will be checked. Let us get back to the code. The next letter grade is A-, minus, which starts from GPA 3.5 and is less than 3.75. Therefore, the condition in the else if statement for A- minus is GPA greater than or equals 3.5. Let me quickly write the code up to B-, minus using concepts similar to what we have discussed so far. Now notice that the range for C is a bit large. It starts from 2.0 and is less than 2.75. In our code, we provide that condition in the else if statement for the letter grade C. The next letter grade is F, which starts at GPA 0.0, .0 and is less than 2.0. So far, we have all the letter grades in the code. We also have the invalid grade that is greater than 4.0. The only item that is left out is any invalid GPA that is smaller than 0.0. .0. Notice that we do not need another else if for that because it is the only situation that is left out. Therefore, we can use else without any condition for any GPA lesser than 0.0. .0. We write invalid GPA on the terminal if the user enters any GPA that is negative. The code is complete. Let us save the file and compile it. I'll run the program several times with different GPA values. Notice that all the grade letters are correctly printed. Let us manually trace the code a bit for clarity. When you run the program, the Java Virtual Machine will attempt to execute each line in the main method in a sequence as they appear in the code. A variable named GPA is created. The scanner object named scan is created. Then on the terminal, enter the GPA please. This sentence is printed. Then the user enters a GPA and hits the enter button on the keyboard. 
the computer receives the value of the GPA in the variable named GPA. Now, the if else if statements of the code will execute as required. Consider that the user entered a GPA of 3.3. Now the computer will check if the variable GPA is holding anything greater than 4.0. Since 3.3 is not greater than 4.0, the statement if GPA is greater than 4.0 results in false. Therefore, the corresponding system.out.print line invalid GPA will not be executed. Since if GPA greater than 4.0 is false, the computer will now check the next else if statement, which is GPA is equal to 4.0. GPA 3.3 is not equal to 4.0. Therefore, the statement else if GPA equals 4.0 is false. Since it is false, the execution will not go inside its scope. Therefore, A plus will not be printed. The next item the computer will check is if GPA is greater than or equal to 3.75. GPA 3.3 is not greater than or equal to 3.75. Therefore, this condition results in false. The next check is if GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5, which also results in false. Therefore, the computer will check the next else if statement, which is if GPA is greater than or equal to 3.25. Now, GPA 3.3 is greater than 3.25, hence the condition GPA greater than or equal to 3.25 results in true. Since it results in true, the execution will go inside the curly brackets, where it is written system.out.println b+. Therefore, b+ will be printed on the terminal. Once one condition is satisfied, that is, once a condition results in true, after executing the corresponding scope, the computer does not check for any other condition. The execution will jump to the end of this entire if-else-if-else if else sequence. That would be the end of the program, that is, for GPA 3.3, the program has printed B+. Let us quickly trace another execution of the program where the user enters negative 5.0 as the GPA. Notice that negative 5.0 is an invalid GPA because it is less than 0. Let us check how the execution of the program will work now. We are tracing for the variable GPA when it is negative 5.0. In the first if statement GPA greater than 4.0, the condition is false because negative 5.0 is not greater than 4.0. Therefore, the corresponding system.out.println is not executed. For the next else if condition GPA equals 4.0, the resultant Boolean value is false too. Notice that for GPA negative 5.0, none of these conditions will result in true. Therefore, the execution will end up going to the else statement. Once the execution goes to the else statement, the computer executes every instruction under the else scope. In our code, the only statement written here is system.out.println invalid GPA. Therefore, the computer will execute it and invalid GPA will be printed on the terminal. Notice again that when all the if and else if conditions result in false. Only then the last else is executed. Let us quickly do another tracing for GPA 3.6. GPA is greater than 4.0 is false because 3.6 greater than 4.0 is a false statement. The next condition GPA equals 4.0 is false too. 
even the next one GPA greater than or equal to 3.75 is false the next else if condition GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5 is true because 3.6 is greater than 3.5 Therefore, the execution will go inside the scope of the GPA is greater than 3.5. The computer will execute system.out.println a minus. No other condition will be checked because already a condition in this sequence of if else if statements is true. The execution will jump to the end of this if else if else sequence. I hope the if else if else statements are clearer with the video lecture today. Please do not hesitate to ask any question you may have via the comments section below. We will be happy to be with you in your journey to learn programming. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our website competingforall.com and our YouTube channel where you are watching this video. Thank you.